Hello everyone and welcome back to the Jurassic World Arena. As you can see, quite a lot has changed. And that's because the kind of competition that our small class carnivores are going to be participating in is a hunting challenge. And you can see I've got them all in their respective pens ready to go with their respective species. This is all of the small carnivores. And I don't know why these guys are panicking in the, panicking in the corner. But uh, that's apparently what they decided to do while I was setting up the intro video, because normally they like to hover around this area with the food and water. So here's how this hunting challenge works. In this pen, we have the Struthiomimus, the Muta, which I cannot pronounce the rest of that name, and the Pachycephalosaurus. And as you can see, based on the naming conventions I've got here, I've got the skin name and a number next to it. And the number signifies how many points that herbivore is worth. So all the Struthiomimuses, they're worth one point. The Mutas, they're worth three. And because the Pachycephalosaur can fight back, it's worth five points. And the goal for each team is going to be to get the most points. Whichever dinosaur in that team has the most points will be the champion for their species. Um, on that note, the Pachycephalosaurus will be changed out uh, against two of the other dinosaurs for the Dracorix and the Stigimoloch, respectively, because they're just in a similar weight class as those particular carnivores. But this way, they can still have a chance at the five points, uh, as opposed to being limited to just the one and the three. And then we have our two tiniest carnivores over here, the um, Procera and the Troodon. And there's not a good, there's not there's not a good herbivore that can fight back that won't just completely molly up these guys. So their challenge is going to be a little bit different. And the way I have it worked out with them is. They'll all be hunting animals similar to the Struthi. There'll be the Struthiomimus, which will still be one point. There'll be the uh, Archi, which I can't pronounce the rest of that name either. That one will be worth two points. And then the Gallimimuses will be worth three. Now, regardless of what herbivores are in the pen, the way an entire round works is once the carnivorous teams are out, when they, as a team, collect five points, or I'm sorry, collect seven points, then we will release Dune Spice into the arena. And Dune Spice is allowed to make one kill regardless of whether or not it's an herbivore or one of our competitors. And then once he makes his kill, he'll go back in. And then when the team collects five points, that is when we will release Rainbow Boa. Rainbow Boa can make three kills regardless of species. And then once Rainbow Boa has been put back in there and the team collects three points, we will release Pit Stop who can make five kills. And that is how, that is what they have to do to survive the round. Whoever is left and has the highest points will be the winner for their species. Now, a quick note about the Herreras over here. They're all kind of sleeping at the moment, but I had to change their genetics a bit. Um, there were six skins and the lowest social setting was one to five. So the ones I, ow, doggone it, cat, get off of me. <sighs> Sorry, I got jumped on with claws. So, the way the Herrerasaurus will work, because I've had to fuss with their genetics to get them to cooperate long enough, is whoever wins the Herrera round, um, I will remake them with the 1 to 5 so that they don't need a second companion in order to be happy. Um, and that way, we've still got our champion, even though we're going to lose the combat infamy. But it was really the only way to get this to work with the Herreras, because if I leave it at a 1 to 5 and I have 6 of them in there, they're just going to want to keep fighting each other instead of going for the hunt. And they do still like to fight each other, but it's squabbles that don't cause damage. But if I put that sixth one in there when they're only on a one to five, then they'll actually try to hurt each other. And then it, it takes away from the challenge. Another quick note, I do have an emergency carnivore feeder in the arena for times when the dinosaurs, for whatever reason, refuse to eat. Because I've had that happen on a couple of my test rounds to make sure that this worked. So this way I will not have anybody dying of starvation. Um, I've had some herbivores start to die of starvation too because they're too stupid when they panic. So any dinosaur that is in danger of dying of starvation or dehydration, I'll bring in a ranger team to revive. And that will be the one interference that we kind of do, besides removing bodies um, as they are taken down. Now one final note, I will not be replenishing the herbivores until the round is over. So by the time Pit Stop comes out, there may or may not be any herbivores left. So that's going to be the hunting challenge, um, and that's going to be how we settle things. The championship will probably go similar, um, with the difference possibly being that they can kill each other as well. 
Uh, I might have to run a couple of tests on that to see how often they fight each other versus how often they want to hunt. Um, because otherwise, it, there's not going to be much point in them participating in the hunting challenge if they would just rather kill each other. So that might result in going back to a traditional fight. And then uh, one final note on the naming conventions for the herbivores. I've got like B's and C's and A's in here and a couple of X's. X's are for the extras to make sure I have enough herbivores. Uh, because sometimes if there's not, then the larger carnivores, for whatever reason, won't eat, even when I have this thing open. And then that's also to help me keep track of what herbivores I need to replace at the end of a round. So now that you know what's going on, uh, we're going to go ahead and close this video so that we can have a nice solid introduction without any additional problems outside of Asher clawing me half to death during the uh, explanation. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video where we will start the challenge.